Hi, I'm Greg Grossman, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple brown butter tomato sauce. Because it's an emulsified butter sauce, there is a lot of butter in it. It's going to yield about a quart of sauce. It's a fairly flavorful sauce, so you're not going to need to eat that much of it on your pasta. I guarantee I will make it worth it for you to eat one and a half sticks of butter. Okay, so basically the, the start of the sauce, or one of the bases, is going to be some shredded carrot, some diced onion, uh, some salt pork, a little bit of garlic, some fresh thyme, and some spices. We're gonna add the garlic to the pan with about a half a stick of butter, saute it slightly. Uh, then we're gonna add the onions, salt pork, and carrots. And we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil too, just to raise the smoke point of the butter. Next, we're gonna take a little bit of the thyme and add it to the mix now. So this mixture of carrot, onion, garlic, thyme, and salt pork is going to saute for about five minutes just until the onions are translucent, the garlic's fully cooked. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and work on adding the tomatoes and all of our seasonings. But uh, first we need to skin the tomatoes. Now to cut the tomatoes. So at this point, we're actually gonna take our spice mix and add it to our mix. We're gonna add the rest of the butter from the recipe. It's about another full stick of butter. So now that we've added the butter, uh, it's heating rapidly and it's gonna brown eventually. Uh, at this point, we're gonna be able to add in a little tomato paste. We're gonna take this mustard and add it to the sauce. It's gonna act as an emulsifying agent. An emulsifier is something that'll hold together a water-based liquid and a fat. So basically we have butter and oil here. We're trying to mix in tomato, which is 90% like water, so we definitely need an emulsifying agent. We're gonna bring this mix back up to almost a boil. We're gonna go and add our tomato mix. At this point, we're gonna add a little bit of white wine uh, just to balance the flavor. Juiced half a lemon uh, with some lemon zest, so we'll go ahead, add a little bit to the sauce. And to that mix, just a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. We're gonna cook the sauce down for about 10, 15 minutes on low heat. Uh, it's just gonna bring it together, let all the flavors combine, and even thicken it up a little bit. We're gonna add a little canola oil and a little olive oil to a little pot. So basically, we're taking some oil to fry some sage leaves for garnish on the pasta. Gonna mix it together. Now we can throw this on the back burner. So we're just gonna pick some sage leaves. Okay. We have uh, some fresh fettuccine here that we made earlier. Into the sink. And then back into the pot. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir up our sauce one more time. And it's thickened down just the way it needs to be. Now we're just adding the sauce back to the fettuccine. Just going to twirl a little bit. Okay. We'll get some of our fried sage leaves on top and garnish with a little olive oil. And that's how to make our homemade fettuccine with a brown butter tomato sauce and fried sage leaves. Greg was very young and people were calling him the prodigy chef and I just wanted him to be a happy kid. We have an hour until the tasting starts. We're just finishing up some prep on some final proteins. I do think that you know, you'll be reading magazines like Bon Appetit, Best New Chef's Issue, and a Greg Grossman could pop up for sure.